Little People Big World fans have slammed Matt Roloff's manipulative girlfriend Karen Chandler for ruining Zack's chance to buy the north side of the farm. Viewers criticized 53-year-old Karen for her interference as Zack explained how negotiations fell through. On the premiere episode of Little People Big World, Zack revealed why talks had broken down between him and his dad. All of a sudden, he makes excuses and reasons why we're not good enough to run the farm. I was offended by the feeling of you're missing something, Zack, whether you don't have the money or the skill set. He added, the price he's quoting is more than I can afford. He went beyond the normal appreciation. Zack also said that he felt Karen's involvement altered the meeting and that she was the one who said this is over. Taken to Reddit, many angry fans spoke out against Karen, who is Matt's girlfriend of five years. One wrote, Karen seriously needs to back off. I get that they are life partners, but it's not her property. She shouldn't have been part of any negotiation meetings. Another agreed, Karen looked bad here. Honestly, I don't even think it's that unreasonable for Matt to include her, but she should still know that she is not an equal party in this and she needed to take a step way back. A third questioned, wonder where the hell Karen gets the audacity. One raged. Karen is so goddamn fake on this show, might be the fakest person ever to appear on LPBW. In a confessional, Zack continued to rant against his dad as he expressed his frustration over the failed sale. He ripped the patriarch as a bad grandparent who doesn't value his family. Matt announced last week that he put the farm up for sale despite his son expressing interest earlier in buying a portion of the property. According to the Wall Street Journal, Matt has asked for about $4 million for the sale of the original family home and bright red barn. Amid the feud, Matt has claimed that he's been cut off from seeing his grandkids. Zack has three children, Jackson, Lila and newborn Josiah with his wife Tori. We go from seeing them almost daily to being completely cut off, Matt claimed. Like, you're not going to see the kids, we're not bringing them to the farm, you're not going to talk to them, Karen added. I feel sad, I feel confused, she said. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.